Hi guys, Mark from Burton Bibles here, bringing you a little video review look at this uh, product today. Uh, we've looked at the word for word Bible comic um, and we've looked at the one for judges. Um, last night I had the, pr the pleasure of reading through uh, the Mark's Gospel uh, one and uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed uh, this one. Um, it's a slightly thicker uh, volume here uh, for Mark's Gospel. This one is rated a 12, so it's not quite as um, adult in its content, shall we say, as the Book of Judges, probably as you would expect. Um, but uh, as we get into this Bible comic, um, I just want to say that, you know, I really, really recommend these. If you have uh, teenage children or young adults, uh, even perhaps pre-teens that are maybe not as interested in the Bible as you'd like them to be, I can thoroughly recommend these. I would have loved this uh, when I was younger um, because it really brings the Bible to life, so to speak. And we know that God speaks to us through his word and the Holy Spirit speaks to us. But, you know, and there is a danger in, in putting, you know, pictures to things that are um, that are uh, essentially not um, not detailed for us. But... I really like the approach that they've taken um, with these uh, with these graphic novels, where the text is clear, that it will be drawn clearly according to the text of the Bible, all the way uh, across to where the text is ambiguous, and even commentators are divided on how a thing should look and, how, and what a thing happened. Uh, in which case, they draw the images to be as ambiguous as the text uh, can be interpreted. Um, so that's the philosophy that they've taken, and it, it, I have to I have to say, having read two of these now, I do uh, agree with it. So here we have the the Hebrew um, text, which is signifying the, that this is referring back to prophetical um, prophetical voices, the Book of Isaiah, um, and uh, and here we have John the Baptist uh, coming and baptizing. Uh, in the Jordan, and here we have Jesus, uh, the Lord Jesus, coming and being baptized of John in the Jordan, and here we have the voice from heaven, uh, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Uh, things of note uh, that I noted in this particular ed edition, we're not going to review the whole thing, is you get a fantastic um, pictorial representation of what some of these miracles would have looked like. So, you know, where you have, like, demon-possessed people, this is the sort of style uh, that they've gone for. Um, you know, a, a man contorted and in torments by this evil spirit. We have the, the green um, text and the green eyes, and you, you can see the torment that this man is in. So I, I think that that's, uh, that that's accurate. Um, what else uh, did I notice? Yeah, the leper. Here we see the leper who approached the Lord and said, if you want to, you can make me clean. And here he is, you know, taking that lowly place, pleading um, with the Lord for mercy and for grace. And of course, the Lord says, I will, I want to be made clean. And, and you can see the difference in the man's face from this to this. And his leprosy was instantly healed. And I think that's a uh, that's accurate. That's what it would have been like. Leprosy was a hideous, disfiguring disease. And here we can see the miraculous touch of the Saviour uh, in detail. We have the man who's born of four, the paralysed man who comes in through the roof. Um, what else? Of course, we've got the two occasions on the water. Um, we have the... Uh, let's just find it. Yep, so this is the storm on the Sea of Galilee. And they say to him, don't you care that we are dying? Here's the Lord asleep in the hinder part of the ship. And then we have the peace be still. Look at that still. That just It's like a mill pond. It's just fantastic. Really like that. Here's the man of Gadara, um, the legion, the man possessed with many demons. And you can just see the state of him. He's eating raw raw flesh, raw meat. And he, he, he sort of scurries and scampers around like a beast. As he would have done, no man can tame him. Here he is breaking the shackles and casting them off and he cuts himself and he's howling like a wolf and it's really accurate. Um, and so this shows the Lord's interview with him and then they, they see him clothed and sitting and in his right mind. The, the impact that this that the Saviour had 
on people's lives. I really like the way that it's pictured uh, here. Here's the woman with the issue of blood who had suffered many things by many physicians. You can see the money and the different potions and, and tinctures that she's been subjected to. And, and here we see the Lord out of the midst of the multitude. Who touched my clothes? Who touched me? And you can see that she's just reached out and touched the tassel of the hem of his garment because it says in another place, as many as touched the tassel uh, of his garment were made whole. So I really like that. And, and there's Jairus's daughter as well. I love the way that these are uh, that these are being um, portrayed in the scriptures. Um, we have uh, in Mark's gospel the feeding of the 5,000. I uh, really like that, uh, that account. Here's the Lord walking on the water. Of course, Peter uh, walking to him isn't mentioned in Mark's gospel, um, so that's not in, in this book, but uh, you can see how that's uh, represented. So, yeah, I really like that. We have the tran... Uh, the um, the tran where he's transfigured, um, and what else do we have in this book? We have uh, the 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 boy who is uh, has the spirit, um, and uh, this is just really nice, really really nice. We've got blind Bartimaeus. I uh, really like that uh, that one as well. He's shouting out, have mercy on me. And of course the Lord stops and blesses him. Um, so I really like that. We have the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. We have uh, the Pharisees constantly testing the Lord. Uh, is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar? And of course he masters them. There's some interesting scenes here where which they've taken it upon themselves to, to, to sort of project into the future you know where it's talking about future events wars and rumors of wars you can see some of the things that uh, that uh, they are sort of um uh, interpreting that um and it's really quite interesting um so yeah it's really good and we've got uh, the agony in the garden we've got the the servant of malchus uh, being uh, attacked and we have the sufferings of the Lord. We have the betrayal. Really like that, you know, as the cock crows, the, the saviour who's passing by a doorway as Peter looks on, looks, it says that he, he beheld him. He looked upon him and, and Peter remembers and he goes out and weeps bitterly. And then, of course, you are going to have some graphic scenes uh, where it comes to the crucifixion of the Lord. But, you know, that's what we... Uh, that's what you would expect, um, but it is done quite tastefully, and it's it's done well according to Mark's gospel. Um, so I haven't got a major problem with that. And then in the back, there's some really interesting things about you know how they approached it. Who wrote the gospel of Mark? Um, designing um, Jesus, if you like, how he decided on how he should look, um, clothing. Uh, events, harmonising the events of the Gospels, and then a little bit about the production process, which is really quite uh, quite interesting. Um, so I really recommend that you get this. As I've said, you can, you will have opportunity to purchase these if you back the Kickstarter next month, which will be for the Book of Esther, um, and I think you'll have an opportunity to tab on the other four books. Um, and I recommend that you do that. You know. Um, they're really good, really well produced, high quality, the artwork's fantastic um, and they're well worth a read for adults but also if you have teens, pre-teens, young adults um, I think they'll find this really interesting um, and yeah, it, it's great. So I hope you've enjoyed that little overview of the Word for Word Bible comic. Um, let us know what you think uh, in the comments and I'll see you on another video soon. Alright, cheers, bye.